if you're new here I live in Raleigh and I, I actually just moved to Raleigh so still in the process of getting settled into my apartment and getting to know the area today is Thursday and I'm starting off the day with donating blood I made an appointment with the Red Cross to just go because it's been eight weeks since my last blood donation so I'm eligible to donate again um, so that's where I'm going right now. I like to eat like a larger breakfast. So I am going to place a mobile order at Chick-fil-A and treat myself to Chick-fil-A breakfast before donating blood. All right, I'm doing chicken minis, hash browns, and a Diet Coke. Let's go pick that up and go donate some blood. And also kind of as a reverse trigger warning, I won't be showing the process of donating blood so if anyone's squeamish or worried that I'm gonna show that don't worry um, but I will kind of talk about the process because I think I was always kind of scared to donate blood I thought it was super draining <laughs> I don't know for lack of a better word I thought it would be like energy draining I thought my I feel like different I don't know I was always scared and kind of discouraged from donating blood but it's really easy and if you're eligible you should totally do it. My appointment is at 10.15 and right now it's 9.45 and I think it takes like 10 minutes to get there. So I am just gonna sit and eat somewhere, but I don't think I can stay parked here for long so I'm gonna move my car your first donation appointment is gonna take longer than the other ones but the process of donating whole blood only takes five to ten minutes max so once you become an established donor it's just like a really quick thing to do and when I donated blood up in Arlington I donated through the Inova hospital system up there um, because honestly the reviews for the Red Cross phlebotomists in Arlington didn't look promising so I just went through the hospital system um, but down here the Red Cross reviews are way better so I'm gonna go to Red Cross today and they emailed me this morning this little questionnaire since it's not my first time donating but it's my first time donating with them I had to fill out all the standard questions that I did with the Inova hospitals Red Cross has this like quick pass thing so the day of you can fill out all that information and go through the questionnaires and add all your medical history and everything at home so then your actual um, appointment process is expedited so I don't think it should take that long, but I'm excited to get like established somewhere where it's just gonna become like really quick. All right, let's go. All done with that. I think I'm gonna go find a car wash and maybe a Starbucks or a coffee shop because I haven't had coffee yet today and I need some more caffeine. But that's super easy, relatively quick. And now you just feel good about yourself. I should eat my fruit snacks. There's a Starbucks. Oh, shoot. Is that a... I'm right next to a Goodwill. I think I'm gonna stop. I might get a coffee after, but I'm gonna pop into this Goodwill and see if they have any coffee table books or cool home decor stuff. I didn't find much, but I did end up getting two random books that I feel like I've heard people talk about at least I've heard people talk about the authors I'm not a huge reader but I want to be so maybe that will inspire me and then I also got this marble tissue box holder um, I saw something really similar to this on Lulu and Georgia's website last night so I think I can make it look good Having one of my favorite meal preps for lunch. I made this yesterday, so this is just the second serving 
for lunch today it's um asian turkey meatballs that's like the name of the recipe and then i do cauliflower rice cucumber which you can't really see but it's under there carrot and then edamame and it's so good there's a sauce that goes on it but reheating it kind of dries it out so i just added some soy sauce to it and also a quick apartment update we have a king size mattress in here now we're hosting guests this weekend so we needed the guest room open and available for them which is where we've been sleeping because we didn't have a mattress yet so i went to costco last night and panic bought a king size mattress that they had in stock not sure if i'm like totally thrilled with it yet um, but I chose Costco because Costco has a really forgiving mattress return policy which is kind of hard to find a lot of places won't let you return an open mattress but Costco does so worst case scenario if this one isn't the one I can just return it and upgrade eventually so that's what we're working with right now I have a ton of laundry that I need to fold and then I actually wash all of the sheets that are going to go on this bed so i think those should be almost out of the wash now so i'm going to fold all this laundry and then put on these sheets and maybe take a nap because it's so comfy in here Laundry is folded, sheets are on, duvet is still in the dryer, and I decided I wasn't gonna take a nap, but now it's raining, and this looks so cozy. I do have a video that I need to submit by end of day, so I think I'm gonna edit this. Video is submitted, and the bedding is all on the bed. You can't tell me that this doesn't look like the most comfortable bed you've ever seen. This is Brooklyn and bedding. At one point in time, I had a Brooklyn and code. I honestly don't know if it's still active, but if it is, I'll find out if it is and then I'll put it on the screen because their linen collection is so good. And I also ordered a set of just like the regular cotton ones too to have as a backup since this is our first king bed. I needed to do all new king bedding for it. The sun did come back out, so I took it as a sign that I should just power through the rest of the day without a nap. Um, I think it's like five or six, so not much longer until bed. I do feel a little bit like fatigued, I would say from, maybe it's like related to the blood donation, maybe it's not, but I'm sure I'll feel completely normal by tomorrow. And speaking of tomorrow, that... Have we even talked about how Polly's back? I picked her up, she's loving the place. Clearly making herself at home. Like I was saying, our guests arrive tomorrow, so tomorrow's gonna be like a busy day of like prepping for guests and knocking out a lot of work. I'm very prone to working on weekends because I love my work, so obviously I don't mind working on weekends, but when we have guests in town, I try and limit that and just have like a super productive week prior because I always kind of go through my weekdays with the mentality that I will get some work done on Saturday and Sunday but I'm gonna try and knock everything out tomorrow so I'm not just sitting here on my laptop the whole time it's much much later now I am sitting at the kitchen table with my laptop doing a little bit more work but I'm just drinking a matcha lemonade because these have like a tiny bit of caffeine in them Probably not a tiny bit, probably like half a cup of coffee. They're from the Swoon Emma Chamberlain or Chamberlain coffee collab that they did. I really like them, but I am working on some more, oops. I'm working on some more admin work and then I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit and plan out my day tomorrow. I also need to strip the couch cushions off the couch and throw those in the wash tonight because those are overdue for a wash. So I have to do that. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit. Gonna finish this work and plan out my plan of attack for tomorrow because like I said, I need to be a really productive day. I even put her tube out so she can play in her tube. <laughs> Polly! Stop that! I'm just gonna end the video here because I need to put Polly up because she's doing it again. Lady! Okay. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see what I post on my other accounts. But I hope you liked today's video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.